welcome back ladies and gentlemen to episode 7 of our Everton career mode. It's time to get back into it. January transfer window. I'm looking to make a big signing. All right, so here's the plan for this today. First off, make the signings. We need to sell players first. Two players want to leave this club. The first is Dowell, one of our young cams. And then one of our more experienced cams, of course, Sigurdsson. In the last episode, he said he wanted out. We got to honor him. We have to get rid of him. And I think it might have to be to Arsenal. I'm going to accept the $23 million deal from Arsenal. Also, this young player right here is going to go as well. So... Once we get that money, boys, a big player could be joining us. Before we do any of this, though, we have to get into the January transfer window where we're kind of just simulating along right here. And we've come across an injury, which could be a big one. So two players have sold. But this, oh, no. The $80 million center back, the Frenchman, is gone for a month. That is going to be a big loss considering we don't have too many center backs on this team right now. We're going to have to probably bring in another young center back along with hopefully a big, big left midfielder. Bro, everyone is going down with injuries. We just took on Norwich in that previous game. I think it was a cup match. I'm going to do this training real quick. But Richarlson just went down with an injury too. We have been so lucky in this series where not a lot of injuries have happened so far. And Richarlson. Oh my gosh. Six weeks. What is happening? Why is everyone getting injured? Looks like it's time for Kubo to step up, man. He is going to be our new starting right mid while Richarlson is gone. We need to make these signings soon because if people keep going down, boys, I don't know what I'm going to do. We got a big game up next. I'm not going to be playing it. I want to make these signings. So we're simming a few games here. It's Liverpool. I hate simming a big game like this, but I feel like every episode you guys have seen us take on Liverpool. Can we beat them? We can. Joao Cancelo. Goes down with the red card, but Calvert-Lewin puts it in, boys. We are top of the table by a ton. Let's see what the table looks like. Oh, my gosh. Enough of the freaking... Uh, it's the FA Cup. All right, never mind. I thought that was the Carabao Cup. I'm just kind of done with that competition. We are top of the table by seven points. Holy crap. So since I'm going to bring in a big left midfielder, we got to get rid of one of our left midfielders. It's either going to be a Wobie or it's going to be Bernard. Now, we can definitely get more money from a Wobi, let's see what they're worth 22 mil for him 15 million for bernard who's gonna be better for us in the long term a Wobi's still gonna grow i'm gonna say we get rid of bernard oh we have do we have an offer for him okay we did have an offer for him let me go back and let's add bernard to the transfer list and it's probably gonna have to go all right i don't want to waste any time with this signing we're into january and let's get this big player into the club. I think we're going to have enough money for him. First off, Bernard is disappointed. Oh, he said he's surprised that he um, is getting sold. So I'm just going to say I'm exploring. Bombin wants more playing time. Um, we'll give him. Yeah, I really haven't been playing him enough. I probably should get him back in the starting 11. But it's time to bring in a left midfielder. Now, this isn't a realistic career mode. As much as I want to make realistic signings, I am going to try to bring in big players that I want to play with. So, two players that you suggested. Leon Bailey. Unfortunately, he just moved to Juventus, so we cannot bring him in. We're going to remove him. Mikel just moved to PSG. Another player we can't bring in. And here are the two, two of some of the FIFA 20 cover stars, ambassadors, Jadon Sancho and Vinicius Jr. Now, Jaden Sancho can play both right mid and left mid. Of course, we need a left midfielder. Vinicius Jr. can play left mid or left wing, but and same thing. He'll be able to play on that left side. Jaden Sancho is 87 rated. I don't know if we're going to be able to afford him. Vinicius Jr., however, has a release clause, which I am going to pay for straight away. 54 mil for Vinicius Jr. We're going into negotiations. Could you imagine? A team. We're getting rid of Bernard, one Brazilian. We're going to try our best to bring in another Brazilian who goes by the name of Vinicius Jr. And he only wants an important squad role. Wow, you would think he'd want crucial playing time. We'll give him important, which is fine with me. Of course, I'll probably be playing him every game, so he'll probably just end up getting the crucial playing time. Five years, disregard release clause. And he literally just gives us the contract he wants straight away. Oh my gosh. Boys, Vinicius Jr. Welcome to the team. I didn't even have enough time to put him into the starting 11 before we get this. Martinez for 90 million from Piemonte Calcio. Oh my gosh. But it says we could get anywhere from over 100 million to 150 mil for this dude. Oh my God. 
I'm gonna say no, dude. Martinez is gonna help us win the Champions League this year. I do not want to get rid of him. But for season number two, if we can sell him for 150 million, should we do it? All right, now let's put him in the starting 11. Keen up to an 85 overall. Bernard is unfortunately going to have to go to the bench. And here he is, Vinicius Jr. Get your way in to the starting 11, son. Let's go. Look at this team. When Richarlson comes back, of course, he's going to be the right mid position. Other than that, the team looks good. Um, also, we got to put Cancelo back in. And when um, Lendlet returns, he will come back in the starting 11 as well. Here we go, boys. The draw for the Champions League is here. Let's see who we're playing. We finished second in the group. Round of 16 action. Oh, my God. Bayern Munich. No. Oh, my. We're going to get into those games in this episode. I'm not looking forward to playing them. That is going to suck. So what I'm going to do is finish the transfer window. I'm going to not play any games during January. We're going to simulate all of these because... We should just win all these easily. I shouldn't even have to play. And we'll wait until this moment right here. Bayern Munich will be the first game we play of the episode. I do want to see how Vinicius Jr. does in his debut, though. So we're going to watch the simulation play out in this one. This is our best starting 11, minus, of course, our center back who's injured. Let's see how badly we beat West Ham by. Or imagine we lose. I doubt it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I said these would be easy games. Are you kidding me? Vinicius Jr., your debut. Keane gets the only goal. That is, wow. Can't believe he lost that. Transfer offer for Seamus Coleman. I think I'm going to accept this because I'm going to bring in another defender. And Coleman's getting up there in age, 32 years old. An offer for Keane, too. 69 million. And it's Man City. No, man. I'm not getting rid of my attackers this season. We have such a strong attack. Next season, I'd consider selling some of them, but for now, we're keeping the attack the same. They keep putting us up against Liverpool, and we're not able to play these games while I could, but I just don't feel like playing it. We win. The FA Cup really isn't a competition that I care about, so if we make it far, it's fine, but I'm more focused on the Champions League and Prem this year. Finally, an offer for Bernard. I hate to do it because I've loved this dude throughout the series, but it's time to let him go to Real Betis. After that, we can sign another defender. And there it is. We have time to sign this defender. Bernard gone. Coleman gone. We could get a bigger center back than I thought, man. 27 mil. All right, we got to be smart about this. Let's see who we should get. So I don't know what it is about us in Argentinians. We're going for another Martinez from Argentina. We have the striker. We're going for the center back, and he can also play left back, which is one of the reasons I want him in the team. I think I'm just going to pay his release clause straight up because I think he's worth a lot more than this. Second release clause we've paid at the episode. He's probably going to be the final signing of this transfer window as we don't really need anyone else. I'll save the extra cash for next season in contracts as well if I have to negotiate contracts. So let's see if we can get him, boys. The Ajax kid would be the third Argentinian we've signed, I believe. Yeah, third. And he wants important. I don't know if I can really give him important. I'm going to say rotation. Let's see what he says. He wants important. All right, I'm not sure. We'll see, man. I'll try to get you in. But if not, you, you just got to work with me. We got a lot of good center backs in this team. Five-year contract for Martinez. And, oh, they want three years. Okay, man. Martinez is very demanding. And contracts. Release clause accepts. What do you want for your contract? So just to get him in, I'm going to give him probably a little bit more than he deserves. 50000 and a 100. Now, maybe that's a little less. I don't know. I, I always hate these because if you under value them then they just storm out and okay they counter and we'll definitely accept that leaves us with seven million another argentinian sign welcome to the club martinez so let's see what he looks like let's see his rating because i really don't know what it is um i know he starts at like a 77 i think i think could be less hopefully he's at an 80 oh he is at an 80 that's big man that's actually big so whenever we need um, to give Digne a break, he's going to come in and Delph. I should probably get rid of Delph at this point, but we'll keep Delph just in case some injuries take place. That's kind of why Davies is here as well for injuries. He doesn't get too much playing time. Richarlison coming back, but that's going to most likely be it for the transfer window for us. So deadline day here, boys, and some big moves taking place. Aubameyang and Lacazette both leaving Arsenal. So I don't know what their plan is because they got rid of their two strikers and they didn't bring in a striker. At least I don't know which Gomez that is. Could be a striker, but that is very confusing from Arsenal. Um, around the league, here are the rest of the moves. And you can see Everton. I mean, we brought in some pretty big players. We didn't really make too much money. We only sold a few, but I think our moves are going to help us 
hopefully win the Premier League. And we can check out some of the other top deals, but these deals do include the deals from the summer transfer window. So just a heads up on that. And we have a few of the biggest deals on here, which is crazy to see. That is it for January. It's time to sim ahead and get in to the first game of the episode. It's time to face Bayern Munich in the Champions League. All right, it's time. Bayern Munich, Champions League. I'm going to play the first leg and I guess the second leg, depending on how we do in the first leg. If we win by a lot, I might sim. But here is the team. For whatever reason, I don't know how it happened, but Keen is hurt. And I, 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 get, I don't know how. I, I don't know how long. It didn't say. So maybe I accidentally deleted the email. That was probably it. But... He's gone, which is a big, big loss. Luckily, we got Calvert-Lewin. We're going to make a few subs ahead of next game. And I think I'm going to stick with that. And the team looks good. Bayern Munich is up. Going to attend the press conference. Will you go to the next round? What am I supposed to say? No. We're, we're, I'm not going to go? Like, what kind of question is this? We have one of the best teams. Let's go with that for the answer. Like, some of these questions, man. Given the recent close calls against Tottenham, we just played Tottenham the last game. I simmed. We won. Um, what is your sentiment regarding the previous match? They have to play better. We have proven tactics. We are not affected. Let's go for that. And that boosted morale so much. There has been some top performance in recently. Can your team keep it up? I'm going to say we can do even better. And look at that morale, man. It is all the way up. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's get into this one. The Champions League is what I want this year. And I feel like once the Champions League, once we win it, the career mode is complete. So who knows? Maybe this will be our last season. We'll see if that's the case. Let's go, though, boys. Into this game. Let's get the win. Let's see if we can do it. Richarlson back in the starting 11 after those injuries in to Havertz. The back heel. That's not how we want to start. It's going to be Bayern Munich inside the box. They're on it. Come on, defense. Let's go. Lock it down. There it is, man. This first half has been so boring. There's been nothing going on. Let's go. Vinicius Jr. Use that pace. And can you do anything else? Calvert-Lewin on it. I wish I knew more skills, boys. But I just don't. It's Vinicius Jr. Finesse shot, boys. It's in. Let's go. On his debut with me actually controlling him. What a signing he was. Only 50 million for an 84 rated left winger with over 90 potential. Like... How is no one paid for his release clause yet? I just don't get it. 1-0, though. Let's go. End of the first half, man. Up until Vinicius scored that, it was just so boring. Nothing was going on. I was getting some chances, but I couldn't do anything. Bayern Munich couldn't do anything. We got the lead going into the half, though. I'm confident we can get a few more, too. Let's go. Vinicius, man. He has so much pace. I love our wingers. Our two Brazilian wingers are just insane. And it's going to lead to another goal. Oh, my God. Calvert-Lewin, man, you just got to shoot that. This game is far from over. Bayern Munich with a chance to equalize, man, and I think they might do it, man. They've been pressuring me this entire second half. It's inside, and it's time for us to counter now. See if we can get a second goal, man. If we can get one more, I want to get at least one. Because if we can win 2-0, I'm going to probably sim the next game. It should be enough to get us on to the next round. This is not good. Nabry is away. Oh, why is he slowing up? What's he, what's he trying to do here? Oh, he's trying to wait and sweat it off. It's off the crossbar. Oh, my God. Ball's still alive. Bayern Munich, don't do me like this in the final minutes. I want to lock this defense down. I'm going to bring in Martinez and see what he can do. We're taking out Gomez. I'm also going to put in Bombin for Bensencourt. And I'm putting in Almada, the super sub of dreams. Please, not like this. Please, in the middle, Pickford. Pickford with a god tier save. And that might have just secured us a win in leg one. I want this other goal, though. I want the second goal. I'm not happy. Oh, God, that's going to be it. Yeah. All right. Never mind. I, I, I'm happy. I am happy <laughs> with one goal. Wow. That was a sweaty game. And luckily, we came away with the win. But leg two, we got to go to Germany. Things could get interesting very soon. I, I don't get this. Gomez with an injury now. As we exit that game, we haven't played a game since. Is it a training injury? A Wobi once in... Um, yeah, sure, man. I, I got you. I'll, I'll start you, but... What? <sighs> Why? Why? Like, training injury. Joe Gomez just out of nowhere breaks his ankle. I hate that about career mode so much. I hate it so much. And just like that, Keen Gomez gone. Um, What is this message from Kai Havers? Why does he think I want to sell him? I've never said that. I sat him for one game, and he's all concerned. That, like, what? I mean... 
I'll give you a chance, but dude, you got the starting job. You don't need to worry. I keep winning these games in the Prem. I haven't played a Prem game in a few months, and I feel like I don't even need to. We're in the round of 6-2 in the FA Cup, and I haven't been playing those games. Look at the Premier League table, though. We have 66 points, and we still have a game of hand to Manchester United, who is the only team relatively close to us at all. I think we've already won the Prem. Like, 10 games left, it, it looks like no one's gonna be able to catch us. And we lose to United, we're out of the FA Cup, no big deal. Um, again, that, I, we're focused on the Champions League. That is the goal. If we go out of the Champions League here in the next game, then it's all in on the Premier League, which again, it looks like we've already won. So, that being said, it is time to get into leg two. Let's set this starting 11. I'm not sure if I want to change anything, what I want to do. And this is really hopeful news. Keen coming back. I want him back in the starting 11. He's at an 86 overall right now. He is just such high rated. Him and Martinez up front are going to be so dominant. And another reason why I want him back is because, yeah, look at our stamina on our strikers. Thiago Amato is going to be back out. Vinicius Jr. in. I'm going to put, no, Benton Core in. Bauman's going to stay out. Charleston's going to come in. Keen is going to sit. Is that going to be it? Wow, man. I mean, it's fine. It, it's still in the green, but we just need more subs. We're playing so many games. Let's get into this. Leg two. Please, don't choke. I, I just need a draw. A draw is all I need in this to advance. Allianz Arena. I'm nervous. I have a feeling that Bayern Munich's going to come out strong and... I'm going to have to defend for my life this game. Who knows? Maybe we'll put up a few goals and we'll win this thing easily. We'll see. Look at this through ball, man. What a start to this game. Vinicius, not a great touch right there. He's inside. Little skill. Oh, my gosh. Vinicius is just so fast, so quick. Here comes Joao Cancelo, a right back. And I'm going to sweat it into the middle. Is that a penalty? It's a penalty. Oh, my gosh. What happened? I want to see a replay of this. I, I, it's Kimmich with the foul. It didn't look like a penalty, but he pointed to the spot. Let's see it. And, oh my gosh, he literally just kicked Martinez in the chest. All right, he was going for the ball, but you can't just kick a man in the chest. And my penalties are not very good this year. I will be the first to admit, who's our best penalty kick taker? I think it's Havertz. We'll send Havertz to the spot. I'm gonna go near post. And again, my pens are not... Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. And it's saved. Wow. I told you guys my pens. I need to work on them. I hit it straight down the middle and Neuer had it covered all the way. So we get one right before the end of the half right here. Dinier inside. Ref. He doesn't call a foul. He calls for the end of the half. We should be up 1-0. I missed the freaking pen. I missed the pen. After I record this episode, I'm going straight to the training drills and learning how to properly take penalties and free kicks as well because I cannot take free kicks either. The new system has me all messed up. We still have the lead though. We just got to hold it for 45 more minutes. What do we got here? Middle of the box, header, goal, 2-0. That should be the game. We get the away goal. It looks to be none other. Wait, Richarlson? Hello? I think that's Richarlson, which I, I don't know why he is scoring headers, but I'll take it off a corner. I don't usually score from corners. But we get one here. Look at this, man. Richarlson. What's up with it? So as there's uh, like still 40 minutes left in this game, I'm going to put Kubo in. And here's why. People were saying in the last episode that I don't play him enough. Which I, I do play him a very good amount. A lot of times I'm just simming the game so you don't see it. But regardless, I want to make you guys happy. I'm going to give Kubo a go. Richarlson, he's a little tired. He scored our lone goal for today. Let's see how Kubo does if he can make an impact in this one. Hi, Havertz is away. And he's actually a little bit pacey right here. And why did players stop making the run in the box? Martinez puts it in regardless. But I was, if you're going to see this replay, I'm gonna show, they're going to show it in a second. But you're going to see Vinicius Jr. shooting down that left wing. I was planning on doing a grounded cross to him. But he like slowed up as soon. Look at him right here. Stop. Why did he stop? He would have been through for an easy goal. I don't know why the CPU like continue making that run man i'm gonna find you regardless we put it in three nil it's all but over martinez in the middle calvert lewin back to martinez is he offside he might be or is he he's on let's go three nil boys martinez gets his second goal and after we scored that third one Bayern munich was i don't know i guess they kind of just gave up whatever but uh martinez gets his second he's a beast man i i I can now kind of understand why people were offering me almost 100 million to try to sign him in January. Oh no, Bayern Munich. 
Bayern Munich, they get one back. It's too late. It's the 91st minute. They are not going to get anything out of this game. But it's a goal, and it was an ugly one. I don't know really what happened. Look at this right here. I don't know why I decided to clear it in the middle of the box. It bounces off his shoulder twice. Shouldn't that be? No, I guess it's his back. I was going to say maybe handball. Doesn't matter. Hey, why, why am I complaining, man? Look at this. All I got to do is this. I got to do this. I can, uh, can juggle a little bit with Pickford right here. And there it is. That's all you got to do. Game over. We win. We're on to the quarterfinals. Who are we going to play next, though? That's the question that remains to be answered. All right, let's see if the draw has been announced. I'm sure it has. Oh, let's check out this first. Top goal scorers in the Prem. Look at Kai Havertz putting in the work. Calvert Lewin up there. Martinez up there as well. And look at all the assists. Awobi, Cancelo, Havertz, Benson, Coor. That is crazy. All right. As for the Champions League, we got to find out who we're playing next. And with the domination in the prem i just don't see myself pre playing any more prem games this year except if it comes down to it and we need to play them champions league though who we got give me someone good spartak moscow well i guess maybe they've made it this far for a reason i'm probably gonna sim those games and we're gonna advance to the semis hopefully dude career mode's making me so mad keen comes back from injury as soon as he's fit, I need to play more. The amount of games I, at the moment isn't good for my career. Dude, you were just injured for like two months. Chill. I'm trying to rescue you. I'm trying to get you back into the squad. Why can't there be a, a decision that said, like, it says exactly what I just said. Like, hey, man, you were just injured. Like, chill. Chill. Kai Havertz is pissed too. Oh, my gosh. I'm worried. Stop being worried. You're not threatened. You're doing great. You're fine. Another injury, Kubo. Oh, my God. My camera. My camera died too. What is happening? What is happening? I'm a mess. I'm actually a mess. This team is a mess. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Someone help. This is going to be a bit risky, but since we're playing a team that I'm very confident we can win every game without playing, I'm going to sim it and hopefully we'll just be straight to the semis. If not, I'm going to make a huge mistake and I'm going to get roasted in the comments. So either it's going to work, it's not going to work. We're going to find out. I'm making the subs real quick. And wow, man, so all our fitness is gone. I hate these injuries. Gomez injured, Gubo injured. I'm gonna put McKinney on the back. I might start McKinney at center back, honestly, over Keen. He's just much more fit. Let's go with that starting 11. And let's hope and pray we get the win in leg one. It is the home leg. Spartak Moscow. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh my God. <gasps> yeah, that's why I didn't play. We, we won in the leg one, 5-1. And leg two, it shouldn't be anything that we should worry about. I think we are, I think we're fine. I mean, 5-1, could you imagine somehow we blow this lead? But I feel like every time I say that, it ends up happening. But I don't think it's going to happen today. Away, Spartak Moscow, we already won 5-1. We lose, but it doesn't matter. We are on to the semis. And with that, I think it's going to be it for the episode. So what we plan to do next episode, finish season number two. We're going to finish the Prem, which is kind of getting close. Nine points, six games left. Eh, not that close. We're probably going to end up winning that. And we're going to finish the Champions League, more importantly. We're going to play both the semifinal games. And we're going to play the final game if we make it to the final. So the team's moving on. Everton moving on. Barca moving on. Real Madrid and PSG, the team that was in our group. You're going to find out who we play. You're going to find out if we win, how many trophies we win. We won the Prem and FA Cup last year. This year... We're out of the FA Cup. We're going for the Prem. We're going for the Champions League. In the next episode, 2,000 likes. I'll have that to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll catch you guys later. Peace.